you for joining us today at the Taubman Museum of Art for this Art Spotlight. My name is Katrina and I'm here with Dr. Patrick Shaw Cable, Chief Curator and Deputy Director of Exhibitions and Collections here at the museum. Hello. Patrick, Hello. how are you? Good, thank you. Um, so when you come to an art museum, you probably don't expect to see something like what we're standing behind today, which is this very unique tablescape. Yes. Um, that looks like it probably should be in either A, a history museum, or B, some sort of interior design magazine. Yes, and Tablescape is a perfect description. Uh, and it's part of this exhibition, Huntopia, where the artist, for the first time in an American museum, he was given full reign to indulge in what we might call his deco um, exotic bent toward interior design. And um, this was a very good opportunity to bring out some pieces in our permanent collection that yes. don't normally get seen, right? Yes, we have several Asian ceramics that were part of the major Aikens gift. Uh, the relative of the artist, Thomas Aikens, a great American artist, Peggy Thomas McDowell, gave to the museum several Aikens and, and from his circle, works from his circle and from his wife, his sister-in-law, uh, paintings. But part of that were family decorative arts, which mm -hmm. included a group of Asian ceramics. So we actually brought those out along with um, many, many candlesticks, as you can see, and that so, we purchased. So we, okay, yeah, so we did purchase these, uh, yes. actually Hunt purchased these from local antique yes. markets, right? Yes. Um, and so Hunt is a little bit of a collector. Um, but I heard through the grapevine that he actually doesn't like collecting candlesticks, but he doesn't. Why? Well, it depends too, sometimes on the candlestick, but you're right. He doesn't necessarily like, like all candlesticks, but it, it reminds me too, he once said, uh, if you have trouble with an item, just group a lot of it together. That, that always helps. Uh, so he's grouped candlesticks. We also still have a group of top hats. He's very into top hats. And his friend, who was also a very important supporter of this exhibition, Joanne Casillo, mm -hmm. she found a lot of candlesticks too for her friend Hunt. Oh, fantastic. Well, this is just such a unique piece as a whole yes. to have for this exhibition. I, this would make such a very interesting dinner party look. Um, True. And I noticed that all of the wicks of the candles um, have been is that for a particular reason? Yes, the artist definitely wanted to have them um, burnt before they were installed. So actually one of our interns, I think an intern from Roanoke College, was helping our registrar. Uh, they went out, he or she, I can't remember, I think, which, I can't remember which intern it was, but okay. it may have been more than one, in fact. They went out, they had to um, go outside and burn these all temporarily just to make sure the wick was burnt. Right, because no he, fire in an art museum. Yes. <laughs> had to be done outside. And so, now that I think about it, I don't know if it's um, something about luck, too. Oh, but I do know yeah. Hunt Sloan was very particular about that. Really? And he um, does have interesting ideas about spiritualism and psychic or... Ooh, so this could be like the scene of a seance. Yes, yes. Kind of deal, which is very cool, too. Well, this has been really interesting. Thank you, Patrick, for joining me for this. And friends at home, I have a prompt for you. Um, if you have a collection of items that you love dearly, place them all on a table and send us a picture of it because we'd love to see what you collect um, or try to recreate Hunt's scene as we see here. Oh, yeah. Thanks for joining us today. And we'll